Hello dear students, viewers, spectators and guardians. Thank you very much for watching this video. I am proud with you with a class. Uh, this class will be helpful for the 19 students or SSMS students. But I think it will be helpful for every one of you. If you want to learn, if you want to develop your writing skill and speaking skill, um, you have to practice this. If you want to develop your speaking skill, writing skill, and listening skill, you must listen, you must watch English class. I just front off with you with a class on completing sentence. In my previous classes, I have discussed a lot of structures. Now, I am going to discuss some other structures from completing part. Today, I am going to discuss for completing sentence. Okay, completing. Completing sentence. This is very important sentence. This is very important uh, grammar part for SSMS students. You will have five sentences from this sector. Okay, now I am going to give you an structure. This is the place. Okay, and where? The time. When? Okay. Uh, uh, you have already known that uh, when a sentence has place and it takes where. The place where, but as conjunction, a relative pronoun, as relative pronoun, we must put where. Okay. And if it is time indicating, then we must take when. Okay. Uh, dear students, I think you have got the point that what I am going to write here. You can see that I have written uh, the place where and the time when. If the sentence indicates a place, we must put where in the middle of the sentence, okay? And if the sentence indicates the time, then you must put when in the middle of the sentence. This is very common in a complex sentence. You see a place. Suppose uh, Dhaka is a city where our Prime Minister lives. Dhaka is a city Dhaka is a city where our prime minister lives uh, that means Dhaka is a place where our prime minister lives uh, place indicates where if it is place we must put where here in the middle of the sentence then if it is a uh, time, suppose 1971 is the year when Bangladesh became free. Now, this is time and this time indicates when, okay? So, uh, if we see time indicating, then you must put when. We can give some other examples. Suppose, 10 p.m. is the time. Is the time when we take dinner, okay? This way, we must practice some uh, structure, okay, for completing sentence, especially for completing sentence. When we see a sentence uh, to be completed, then we must remember if it is place, then where, if it is time, then when. After where and when, we must put another sentence in the clause, okay? Uh, so, uh, the, I think you have got it, okay? After discussion, I will review, okay? Now, I'm going to another structure. Uh, this is 
I am going to discuss in the structure let one. This is very important. He is uh, unable to carry 10 kg of rice, let alone 50 kg. Uh, suppose let one, let one is what is conjunction in English grammar. You can see here I have written a, you can you can see here I have written a sentence. Mm -hmm. He is unable. He is unable to carry. He is unable to carry ten kg of rice, let alone fifty kg. That means he he is able to carry ten kg. No, 50 kg. So we can say, so we should say, uh, he is unable to carry 10 kg of rice, let alone 50 kg. Okay? That means he has no capacity to carry 10 kg. Uh, where is 50 kg? Okay? Now, uh, I am going to put, he, put here another example. He will not get will not get a minus in his exam let alone a plus that means he is not studying seriously he will not get a minus but we cannot hope for a plus okay and now i am going to uh, give you another structure this is uh, by plus zero, okay. By plus zero, zero here you can see in the form of word. Then you can use it in your uh, writing. After that you can uh, put here subject uh, verb, subject verb and object if it is needed here. Uh, form example, you can see here I have put in here by then in the form of verb. Suppose. By reading attentively, you can get a good figure in the exam. So uh, you can see here I have written by then in the form of verb, which is called dear. Then another step, another example is uh, by doing physical exercise, by doing physical exercise, we can keep fit ourselves. So. So after by we must use jiren without without plus jiren okay uh, here again ing uh, especially this sentence means affirmative okay after by we can send we can put a sentence uh, from affirmative sentence. Then without plus jiran, if we use without and jiran, then uh, plus negative sentence. Negative sentence. Okay. Now without without writing daily a page of English. Your handwriting will not be standard. Your handwriting will not be standard. Okay, so you can see here I have written uh, without, then sorry, without writing without writing 
daily, without writing daily a page of English, your handwriting will not be standard. Or without speaking English with your friends, you cannot get fluency. Okay, so that means without speaking English with your friends, with friends or with your friends, we can say here with your friends, uh, you cannot get fluency. Okay, then another example without without taking balanced diet we cannot we cannot have a good health okay i hope you have got it You know, while, while is uh, a conjunction which is used widely in English grammar and English speaking. Everywhere we can see this conjunction. Uh, there is two structure, two pattern of while. If we put a verb after while, it must be a uh, verb ing. Okay? Ing form. Ing form, that means we call it a uh, for. Before, that means ing form. And uh, then the was and if we put here a subject, mainly it, it is uh, from past continuous was where then uh, ing form object if it is needed then other things. Okay, now uh, let's end this some example here. Why eating? While eating rice, I saw you. That means the time I was eating, I saw you. Okay? There is no subject. So, I have given here a ing form of verb. If we use subject while I was eating rice I saw you same example but in different way while ing and while subject plus that means past continuous tense okay so you have to practice more and more I think if you see this structure in your exam paper the question then you have to think that after a while I have to put ing form if I uh, see or uh, if I put if, if, if I put subset then sentence must be in past continuous tense. Okay, you can see here now. Uh, while while uh, playing in the field a lot of supporters praise to me okay that means at the time of playing if I uh, use subject here while I was playing uh, this is the true way to practice counting sentence I think uh, you have you, I think you have got the point you have understood fully if you do not understand any structure any example please do not forget to give a text or a comment to my comment box okay uh, and this class will be uploaded in our school page Marsh Clemental High School in uh, online English page PRD English page and Pronops is English page online page so I am requesting you to practice this structure for your own better now I am going to give you another structure this is uh, this is after and before after before okay after before 
uh, when we use this uh, when we when we use after and before as a preposition then after them we must put ing form if we use them uh, as conjunction in completing our uh, connectors then it takes two clause two sentences okay so i'm going to make you understand a first one is a subject plus hat plus first participle form of the verb and object it is there then before okay after before we must put subject plus first form of the verb okay before okay then subject plus first form of the verb then after then again subject plus hat plus first personal form of the verb you see here i have written uh, two structure one is one is before and the one is after now if we see the sentence in the exam paper and the question after before after before we must put the sentence in past simple okay if we see the, uh, the if we see after and before after the clause is in past simple after and the clause would be after in past perfect okay now i'm going to give you some example here you can see uh, the patient died the patient had died before the doctor came here you can see that before okay now all this structure subject here is subject uh, first perfect first perfect that means hat with first person from the verb uh, there's no object okay we don't need object here then before the conjunction here this subject the doctor first form of first form of the verb okay okay now i'm going to give you another example of after the use of after suppose the doctor the doctor came after the patient had that now i'm going to tell why this happens here past perfect after and before okay uh, in this sentence when we use before as conjunction uh, there are two sentences two clause okay now i'm going to make you understand okay now you can see here i have written uh, this sentence before the sentence uh, past part of before it is in past perfect then you must remember that after and before uh, the past part of before should be past perfect and the last part of after should be past perfect okay dear students now i am going to terminate my class here uh, you will get my own classes uh, through some online pages such as uh, Maheshkali Model High School online English page and PRD YouTube channel, PRD English online page, PRD English online page we have. Then uh, my page, uh, this is uh, Pranops Easy English online page. Uh, uh, I think you will get all classes there. Uh, so I can request you to uh, enjoy my class. Uh, for your own betterment, if you do not understand any uh, context, any context, any structure, any examples, please do not hesitate to click me a message or a text. Thank you very much for watching this video. I uh, will be with you again 
with a new class in next time thank you very much